Hi, I'm Zef. Um, I'm currently working at Next um, in the Leicester head office and I'm delighted to be involved with Fashan again this year um, and I'm really excited to see everybody's entries. So how did, how did you start then, Zef? So I also went to a fashion degree course at university at Derby. Uh, that was a four year course quite a while ago now. But from then I have actually done quite a lot of very different positions. Firstly, I worked in England for a few years with um, design based companies as a designer. Then I um, wanted to travel a little bit more and live abroad. So I spent five years in Hong Kong where I worked for a fast fashion company and then also for Nike, which again involved a lot of research across the, across the world. Um, and then I also um, spent some time in Europe where I was five years at Tommy Hilfiger, working for the denim brand under Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger. And again, lots of travel, lots of different kind of brand identities and lots of different experiences. So it's been an amazing career, I'm very lucky. So tell me, Zeb, what will you be looking for this year? Although it's been a really tough year or even a little bit longer now, um, the overall approach should be um, the same with a creative input, an open mind with much bigger thought processes than just a garment. So um, where does the reference points come from? What does the outfit look like at the end? Who is wearing it? Is it a one-off unique art piece that's like um, really laboured and worked into? But again, how is somebody wearing that? Is that a one-off item that would just hang in a kind of a beautiful gallery environment? Or actually, is it something that can interpret to a little bit more of a commercial point of view and it's worn with a certain trainer or a certain heel? And I think the ones that I saw last year, the um, applications that I saw last year, the ones that really stood out had a very rounded approach they weren't just thinking about one trouser or one garment it was an approach about society or um, the environment uh, sustainability I think there's so much more to consider and think about in today's modern design processes and styling that when that comes together as a whole package you can really see that it really sings um, and it's got much more of a kind of a solid and strong creative point of view well, I hope that, that gives our students some pointers. And, and are you looking forward to seeing what they're coming up with this year in these, you know, being through these very difficult times? I really am. And I think um, when I've seen introductions or um, approaches to how the students have started doing their um, projects and their work, it really blows me away to see how broadly they have been thinking about things and how they're considering much more than just um, you know, a creating a collection. It has a much wider scope of thought process, of point of view. And it kind of reminded me of my uh, sort of it genes of the creative background. You know, it really gets the creative juices flowing. And I think it inspires me too. And do you have any message for the students be watching this and thinking, oh, crikey, I, I want to enter. I hope I win. <laughs> I think first of all don't be afraid to enter any project or different ways of thinking or even the way that work has to be submitted it will always enhance your um, approach to how you tackle things so it's a learning process regardless and I think it's a little bit the same as having sideline jobs or you know it's all a growing experience nothing is going to be wasted um, so I think it channels your energies it gives you something else for your portfolio work so it the actual application is still an amazing uh, opportunity and to see how everybody else approaches it and be able to see the work at the end of the process. So that I would say is a start. Don't be afraid to give it a go. Um, and secondly, it's just, um, it's amazing what clicks, you know, sometimes it's something that I would never have thought of. It, I, I'm happy to be surprised. I want to be surprised and I want to be inspired. Um, so I'm just, you know, anything could, anything could uh, win out really.